<laughs> hey, Wanderers, welcome to the Wandering Gamer Network <laughs> Plays Outlast, since that's apparently the title. We are hopefully nearing the end of this. I say it's the title because that's what I titled the first YouTube video that I uploaded yesterday. So remember that oh. scary face is coming for you, and you have to jump into that vent. Oh, wait, no. Oh, we already wait, went we're, through that. We're, 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 we're oh. past that. No, we're not. No, we're not. No, we're not. We're going to restart. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, so this is right where we were last time. Yeah, we, we ended here. Okay, so this is actually where we were. We're good. Okay, so we'll we'll restart. Oh, yeah. okay. Just so I don't have to watch us me like go through that. Okay. Okay. Hey, Wanderers, and welcome to Wandering Gamer Network Plays Outlast episode. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, episode numbers at this point are out the window, especially because in the beginning we had some troubles. I think I'm hiding from what's his face. I think that guy's name is Billy, but I'm not 100% sure. Oh, hey, there's a case file. Oh, boy. Read it. Wait, uh, just a second. What? <laughs> I'm getting to safety, man. He's not knocking the door down. I don't think he can. Oh, never mind. I just want to get to safety before that way, like, when I... Oh, yeah, okay, that's definitely Billy. Billy's dreams. Hi, Sydney. Another interesting conversation with Billy this morning. He says he's been talking to Dr. Wernicke again for his therapy in the white place. I'm disturbed by the fact that his delusions have only gotten worse with medication, which isn't in the literature for by Benenz... Bazanapan? I know how to pronounce that. In any case, his dead doctor friend is filling his... Wait, what? His dead doctor friend? I his... think it's like he's hallucinating this doctor. Oh, that's dead. And he's probably a Nazi. His dead doctor friend is filling his head with more German folklore. Apparently, the only thing that can kill the wall rider are vampiric butterflies vomited from a demon called Horpcrazy? The butterflies suck the breath from people's lips and drink the blood from their nipples. All right, that's weird. Mm, that's my fetish. <laughs> they can also take the form of emaciated upright pigs or sick dogs, so Billy's gotten that so Billy's got that going for him. He mentioned Billy talking about his mother's tattoos before. Are any of them by chance tattoos of butterflies? Next time I get outside of Murkoff of the Murkoff firewall, I'm going to go online and look and see if there's any actual basis in German folklore, or if Billy's making this garbage up f from whole cloth. What? Is that an expression? Yeah, like whole cloth is like you're doing it on your own. I did not know that. Would love to compare notes sometime. Wouldn't mind doing it over a glass of wine, winky face. It gets lonely up here on two. Kurt. Kurt is hitting on what's her name? Cindy. Cindy. I ship Kurt and Cindy. You're going the wrong way. Uh, no, I'm not. This yeah, go back to that room you were just in. Why? Because there was a door. Yeah. Why would I go there? Because I'm trying to avoid Billy. And I think that's. I think this is how you progress to like the next part is opening that door. There's another way through the. F <sighs> okay, so you know, get back up in the vents. <laughs> Have you told me anything right, you know? <laughs> Literally no, and I have the walkthrough. Oh, Ooh. man. The walkthrough is not very detailed, though, because it's like text. So it's like, yeah. go to the end of the hallway, turn left, then turn right, then turn left again, crouch under the desk, and jump forward. And it's like, it's not super helpful, guys. Yeah, I don't know if there is another way to go. Well, this isn't the way I came. This is, this is the exit. There's oh, a dead cool. guy there. Oh, don't push the dead guy. Ew. Uh, got dead guy everywhere. Hey, we're back where we started almost. Yeah, right? You went on a thrilling adventure. At least here it's dark, mm. so if you need to crouch, you can just, like, hide from him. It's not, like, brightly lit. Man, there were definitely parts of this game where me and Sarah took a lot longer to get through them. Than I am? Well, then, yeah. I would like to think it's a team effort, but I guess Then we are, sorry. <laughs> see, I think I think that's where you sidled through the first... Look around and see if there's, like, a smashed-out window right around here. Yeah, yeah, like, right there. That's where Billy threw you out the window. And it all comes full circle. Maybe that door's oh, unlocked. 
Hey, look at that. Unlock doors all the way. Hey. We gotta find the theater. <laughs> recreation hall? Probably. Go to the recreation hall. Yeah, I see if there's anything in here. Oh, there's probably batteries or something. Oh, I don't think... I think that door was locked and you had to go yeah. this way, so... Oh. Uh. <clears throat> I also think that when I played this the first time, I, like, took a lot longer. Look up and about and see if there's, like, a place to jump. I think you might be able to parkour around here or something. Well, maybe not there. Turn to your right. And then look up. Nope. Never mind. Oh, there is a vent. That makes me think we're going to have to use that vent. But maybe not. <laughs> okay, there's maybe th that ladder right there. <laughs> you know? You know, you know, we probably should have started with that, but whatever, you know? Right. Started with the super obvious ladder. Oh, hey, and now it's shimmy. Shimmy, 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 shimmy. <clears throat> So, in the break between episodes, we were checking some football scores, and I was looking at my fantasy football. And I'll say this for fantasy football, like, I'm a person that is not super into sports. Fantasy football makes me care a little bit more about sports. It's a little bit more fun. It feels like you can kind of engage with it, so I enjoy that. And my team is doing decent, somewhat. You know, I feel like I would enjoy fantasy football because my team in real life is not doing well at all. Who's your team in real life? You I, I, I cheer on the Bears. Oh, okay. Gotcha. And, you know, they're, they're having a little bit yeah, of a rough start. I mean, start. it's okay to be wrong. It's fine. I grew up in Chicago, <laughs> man. Like, yeah, and I guess I shouldn't blame you for that. You didn't have a team. Well, so, I grew up in Indiana, but near Chicago. So, like, it was sort of weird where it was like, a lot of my Ooh, friends that startled me. were... Oh, I think you want to watch that video, actually. We're going to watch this video. Because this is like about what happened here. I don't think the video is showing anything. Okay, we're moving on. Okay. We're going to still listen to this though. Oh, gosh. Ugh. So much light. So bright. They are putting a lot of lockers. This is what I'm talking about. Like, a lot of lockers up in here. You need to find the light and get behind yeah. it. I think you have to go up. Yeah, I'm trying to find that way. Because he said it's behind the light. Go back in that room you were just in. And then look, look up and see if there's a way you can hop up. Nope. Nope. Sure isn't. Is there a crouching place? Because I see a balcony... So I feel like you have to get up on that balcony someplace. Maybe we can jump on a table or something and screw your way up. Look look back towards the light real quick. See up there? Yeah. And there's like a hole. Hmm. I tried this door, right? Yeah, you did. <clears throat> You're also about out of battery. So probably I probably can't do soon. anything until this video's over, actually. Oh, yeah. I wonder if they're making you watch this. Huh. So, speak of the devil. I think it's over. Maybe it's behind the screen. Nope. It looks like there's something... Actually, maybe. No. <laughs> that startled me a bit. I do kind of, like, I understand why they broke your camera a little bit, though. Like, I think it's kind of cool that it, like, keeps reminding you that, like, you know what I mean? That, like, you have the camera up, even though it's kind of distracting. Yeah, it's, I'm actually b more okay with it now. Yeah, I don't gotta... like that. That's annoying. Yeah. Did we miss something? Uh... Oh, yeah, like the door that has blood pointing to it? You know, when in doubt, Zach, you just gotta follow the blood. <laughs> You want to go up the stairs? Yeah, I'm seeing if there's anything in here. This room looks very familiar. 
At this point, this whole game's starting to look very familiar. Yeah, though. yeah. Well, and that's like the thing, because like, oh shoot. Okay, we'll go back down the. Oh, never mind. That's like the thing with these. Like, this is a Unity game, right? And like, I remember when like a lot of these games were coming out. They all kind of felt the same. Like, I think they all kind of use like the same movement engine. Like, because yeah. like Gone Home too. Like, it kind of looks like that. You know what I mean? And all of them, yeah. you move the same way. It kind of feels the same way because I think they used Unity as like their default engine. I think you have to go back the way you came uh, out now. Yeah. <clears throat> and go down that place. Oh wait, did you did you find the thing in there? No, it just locked me out. I think I startled that guy, so now I can go in this way. Oh. Oh, okay. I gotcha. Um, <laughs> you're paying more attention than I am. Well, I'm also playing, so, you know, it makes sense that I'm paying more attention. Oh, because now there's that window. That's the window that I had seen. Okay. Got yep. it. Got it. We're on the same page now. So, yeah. Defini- that, oh, sorry. Go ahead. Well, that movie, like, I feel like it was supposed to be, like, an important plot point, but it was like, weird stuff is happening here. <laughs> like, yeah, shocker. <laughs> yeah, like, but, like, it's, like, one of those revelations where it's, like, oh, like, weird things are happening, and then they're, like, oh, oh there's the key. Yeah, I'm seeing if there's any... Um, any goodies any batteries lying around while we're here yep didn't think there would be got it fine father martin on the third floor he's getting lonely up on the third floor he needs a friend i mean at this point he should just let me come up right <laughs> well, well the th- i understand like you need to see this stuff but i also don't understand like why he's not like taking me around with him and helping me out at some point yeah because, like, this place is very dangerous, like, and, like, if I die, I know it's a video game. Hey! Oh, boy! Necroting... Necrotizing... Facilities. Wash hands repeatedly. Is that all it says? Yeah. Oh, flesh-eating bacteria, that's what... Really? Yeah. I quit. <laughs> Wash hands thoroughly because of the flesh-eating bacteria. <laughs> um, yeah, right. That's that's where I think I draw the line is flesh-eating bacteria. Oh, I think you gotta go down this way. With all the lockers. Yeah, at some point that feels like there better be something. Hey, get in the locker. Get in the locker right now. Get in the locker! No! No! Just get in the locker! Oh, that's the one-shot kill guy, too. Okay, just run up the stairs. Run, run, run. Running makes more noise. Yeah, but close the door behind you, maybe? Yeah, close it. Just just, just hit it. Here's the thing. is like, the, like I can't not slam it because I'm, like, I'm holding the button for it to not. Yeah, but I think it's worth it to have that door closed in between you guys. What's this key to? Is it the elevator? I think it's to this door, probably. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Just close this one. Just close it. Never mind. I think we're far enough away from him. Yeah. Like, I knew what I was about. You're like, oh, just like... I'm paranoid, man. I, sc- I get scared. I do like that, like, you get further up and it starts to get nicer, too. Like, the, the rooms are nicer. And yeah, like, they've, like, locked it off, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Because, like, this is, this is getting, like, near the end of the game now. I think it took me and Sarah a really long time to find that door. Like, a really long time. <laughs> I mean, sometimes it, like... Oh, hey. I swear, if they, like, have something hit me now... Na- oh, it's not him. I thought it was Father Martin. <laughs> I do like how he has just, like, his little butt poking out of his little tunic. Look back at him. Look. He just... He just <laughs> he's just showing a flirty amount of butt cheek out the bottom, you know? So All these guys, they just look like... They just look, they just look cute, you know? They're just trying to give you a tease. Well, there's a hallway that went to nothing, so I'm assuming that I'm going to have to run out. Like, like here, like I like this sort of like untouched billiard room. You know what I mean? Yeah. Well, except for this guy. Oh, hey. Note for you. Static prayer. The static again. A patient knelt in prayer. Maybe he bought Father Martin's line of bullshit. Maybe he hears what I hear, more, but more clearly. Maybe it's his way out of this place. The priest calls it called it the Gospel of Sand. You know, at some point, it's like, he's, like, talking about, like, how, 
oh yeah, it's uh, just crap that this father's spewing. Like, dude, you've seen this thing now. You know it's not. Uh, up and over? No, that, that's not the way to go. Oh, maybe you have to go back in that room and like hang a left and there's another door or something. Broken window. Vents. My new guess. Uh, maybe not. Mm, uh, yeah. I don't know. This thing messes with my head a little bit. Like, it's like... Like, it, oh, like kind of like it gives me eye strain a little bit, and I can yeah. feel it Like when it does that. And I'm like, just stop. I know you're broken. Oh, hey. This oh, is that's... the room I was in. Oh, go, go across the other side. Yeah, I mean... Yeah, there we go. There we go. Well, okay. All right. You know, I think, you know, you might want to, like... So oh, I'm running out of battery, too, again. That's okay. Yeah, we're getting close to the end. Um... Man. There's gotta be something in this room I missed. Yeah, let me, uh... Huh. uh I do, I do like, see what you're saying, though. Like, the untouchedness is kind of cool. Yeah, because it makes it, like, almost a little bit more surreal when it's, like... There's I found nothing it. broken. Oh, did you? Yep. Oh, where was it? There's a broken wall right next oh, to Oh, yeah, it. I actually just saw that. On my, I just got to that part of the walkthrough. I was going to say, you got to look through, like, a broken wall. Um, oh. Go in the bathroom. Yeah, there might be another file to find. I hope so. I enjoy reading those. I'm glad. You've had to read a lot more than I have. Yeah, I'm okay with that. You're also better at voices, and that's something that you're better at in D&D &D as well. <laughs> So, me and some friends from college have, like, a group chat on Facebook where we just send each other hilarious, terrifying things. Man, there's a whole lot of people praying here. I and feel like this is, like, the cult part. Like, these are the people who, like, are in, like, who bought the Gospel of Sand. Yeah. And I will say, well, I mean, hey, it's better for them right now. Did you accidentally reload a battery? No, I needed to. Oh, okay. Ooh, was... You only got one left. I know. Um, this looks like a dead end to nowhere. But yeah, I'll say this, the GIF, like, keyboard on Facebook is one of my favorite things ever. I love it so much. It is so much fun to find random, terrifying GIFs and send them to my friends. You are very weird, you know? Yeah. Yeah, if you read that message chain, it gets weird. Well, like, I've, I've seen you, like, message me with, like, emoticons and stuff before. <laughs> and they're always, like, they're applicable, but they're always weird. I, I want them to be just a little bit uncomfortable. Look up. I thought I saw a hole in the ceiling. Nope. Just a pipe. Never mind. Yeah. Um, well, I feel like this is a pretty good time to call this one, though. Like, while I'm trapped in this endless hallway of death. Yeah. So, yeah, we can stop here for right now. Yeah, we'll stop here, and I guess we will... Thanks for watching this episode of The Wandering Gamer Network Plays Outlast. If you'd like to hear more content from The Wandering Gamer Network, there's a link in the video to our actual play podcast, where we play games like D&D 5th Edition, Star Wars Edge of the Empire, City of Mist, and several other games. Thanks again, and we'll see you next time, Wanderers.